me try to help you from today. You don't need any friend who speak against any pastor or someone. You don't need what? Any friend who speak against any pastor or someone. There are people that go give them revelation. A good revelation about this, okay? Let's pray about this. But you don't need any friend. Because remember pastors, they preach the word. So once you take that, you are canceling what you have been taught. You remember what happened to Timothy? When he was told by Paul, Paul said, Timothy, what I have taught, practice it, and you teach others. So you are canceling what you have been taught. What are you going to teach others? You can cancel everything you have learned by speaking against anyone. And whatever you will say to others will be meaningless. Can I say it again? You don't need one. Any, be careful, be careful because you can be surprised you're in danger. It's not that somebody will curse you, but your words become meaningless. You'll be surprised you are praying for hours, but there's no any statement you mention that brings results. Because already you, you heard many things that affect your faith. Let me say that. Many things, like we are in last days, you are still going to hear many things. So that your faith must go down. Once your faith is down, you are affected. So know that there are many things that affect your faith. It might be the old man character. Envy. Let's, let's call it jealousy. Anger. If you want to see anointing of God waking in you, do what I did. Never stand and talk against anyone. Never criticize someone. You feel anointing waking in you. The glory of God will come upon you. That was my motto. And it's still my motto. If you want to be somewhere, stand. But don't stand with lies. Stand in the truth. Sin must not be your portion. So that when you pray, your judgment will be sane. You know, sometimes we fail to judge. Why? Because we've got people we love and those we hate. But if you know, you know that you are having faith in your heart. And you don't want any word you have received to be affected by anything around. Because the word of God uh, attracts all. Once you are filled with the word of God, you attract, you are celebrity. Friends come, enemies come, whatever come. So don't allow anything to distract that faith. Because that faith is there for you to live the life you are appointed. Prayer with Apostle J.B. Makananisa. Touch your screen now. Whatever today you know is happening to you that affects your faith, can you just mention it to God and confess it prayer? Just mention it to God. It might be friendship. It might be whatever you are going through. My God. It affects your faith. Say it out. Say it out. Oh, Jesus, help us today. Without faith, we can't please you. Whatever comes our way, we don't need anything that will affect our faith. In Jesus' name, amen.